friends, Misty here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. In today's DIY video, we are going to show you how you can transform a simple handbag into something very unique. This also works great on vintage bags. Okay, so for this project, we're going to use these cute handbags that we actually picked up on clearance at Hobby Lobby. They were normally $21.99 and we got them for $5.49. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, we usually do this with uh, vintage handbags or handbags we pick up at thrift stores or antique stores. But these were such a great buy and um, we really like the style. So we are going to transform these and make them something fun and unique. So we've got our handbag. We're going to be using some of this 3M glue. We picked this up at AutoZone. Uh, typically this is used for attaching like plastic emblems and trims to cars, but it also works really good for adhering metal to glass, plastic to plastic, metal to plastic or this like faux leather vinyl. So um, we're gonna use that. We have got some embroidery floss. Uh, we like to use this to tack our patches down after we adhere them. It just gives them a little bit more security. I may be adding this to mine. So some fun charms would be a great thing to have for your project some heavy doodle heavy doodles <laughs> heavy duty oh my gosh i'm not editing it out guys sorry uh heavy duty needles <laughs> and an assortment of patches we picked these up at hobby lobby and then some of these my daughter also picked up at some of the vintage stores we've been to she's going to be using some of them on a jacket can you hand me those, Ray? And then we're going to be using some of these fun roses. Look how cute this is with the bees. So we've got an assortment of patches. We have some fun, um, they almost look like guitar straps. We're gonna use these as new straps for the bag. They did come with a strap, which you could always uh, dress these up. You could put some rhinestones on them um, or really tiny patches, but we are going to replace ours. So let's get into the tutorial. So prior to adhering anything down, you wanna kind of lay your patches and charms and whatever other types of emblems you've picked. You wanna lay those out first and see if you like your design. I am liking how this is laid out. And again, sorry about the filming. Without a tripod, we're juggling one-handed and trying to help each other out. So we're gonna do the best we can. We may have to go invest in another tripod. So now that I have this laid out, I'm gonna get prepared to adhere my patches and my charm onto the bag. And yes, these are iron-on patches. And if you're working with a fabric bag, ironing these on would be perfect. But because we're working with this vinyl, there is a chance that it could damage or melt this. So that's why we are going with the option of gluing the patches on. Okay, Riley is going to add the adhesive to the back of her patches that she wants to place on her bag. And you want to make sure you have good coverage, but you don't want to put too much because again, you don't want it to seep out from under the patch and onto the bag. We are having to improvise. So we have placed the bag over the back of a chair. That way we'll have a nice flat, smooth surface um, when we're applying the patches and we can really kind of push down on those patches and make sure they're secure. 
Sorry about the gross dog bone on the table. The dogs were fighting over it, so we had to take it away. And this lovely cloth is not a tablecloth. It is a paint drop cloth we placed over the glass table so that we wouldn't have any mishaps. All right, so we have our patches in place. This second one, because it is partially on the curved part of the bottom of the purse, we have taped it down with some masking tape just while it dries. And then we can pull that up and that will just make sure that this is nice and secure. This one is my handbag. And now that we have the patches adhered, and they have dried. I am going to be adding this steer skull charm to the top and I think I'm going to be putting it on this center seam. I've laid my purse down on the table and I have slid this box down into the bag. That way when I glue my steer skull charm onto the, the purse, I'll have a nice flat surface. And I'm also going to be tacking him with some embroidery floss onto the bag. I'm just going to run that floss through the loop that the bale is attached to at the top of the skull. And then I'm going to leave this bale on the charm because I want to hang something off of it. I'm going to take the 3M adhesive now and I'm just going to place it right down the center of the skull. Because I am placing it on the seam, the horns aren't going to adhere to a flush surface. So I'm not applying any glue in that area. And again, I don't want to do so much that it squeezes out or gushes out around the uh, charm. So I'm just going to make sure I have it nice and straight. And I'm going to just hold it in place for a few seconds and then I'll set it aside to dry. While this is drying, I'm going to work on creating a tassel that I want to add to this. For the tassel, I'm going to take this hank of embroidery floss. And some might think this is wasteful, but this is really inexpensive and it makes this super easy. I've cut a piece of the floss and I'm going to run it in through this top loop. Sorry that th this is a little out of focus. I'm kind of doing this one handed. So I'm gonna open this up so that the loop is nice and open and I'm gonna slide the piece of embroidery floss into the loop and once I have it through there, I'm going to tie it in a knot. I have double knotted it. And then I am going to take a piece and tie it around right about here. And I've secured that and then cut this off of the rest of the hank of embroidery floss. Now what I am going to do is tie it in a knot onto the bale that I left on my charm, and it's just gonna hang down next to it. All right, so here is how our upcycle bag turned out. This one is mine. I'm gonna show you Riley's. It's got this great embroidered strap. And he's on there straight. It's just the way that the bag is kind of sitting and slouching, but he's on straight. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it's really fun. So let me swap it out and I'll show you Riley's. And then this one is Riley's. She opted to not have the steer head on hers.
We really hope you enjoy today's quick bag transformation DIY. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to our channel and you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet, we would love for you to join our YouTube family and join us on this creative journey. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget about our giveaway. For every comment you leave on a video, your name goes into the drawing for our giveaway that we'll be doing after our junking trip. It's gonna be filled with all kinds of goodies and treasures, and we will be uh, drawing names for that in a couple weeks. So with that being said, bye-bye.